What's up, y'all? It's your boy Swayze coming back with another um, video reaction. Today we're reacting to UFC damn. 257 Vlog Part so 3 damn. Part Tress. Yes, sir. That's what we're doing here. Without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Knowing that you ain't paper chasing. So, Daniel, I want you to sit on here if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I was going. <laughs> what in the world? What? Yeah. Can we take this to the pool? Is this a photo Why shoot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Standing the, there like a stalker. Me, yeah. It took me three hours to inflate it. <laughs> <laughs> They're not popping, eh? If I pop it, you're gonna be pissed. The energy just around this week, I feel like, is pretty high, especially in your division, obviously. You got a Habib decision, you know, on, on Saturday, and you had Connor arriving in the yacht. How, how do you take all that? <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely, you know, first and foremost, kind of I'm a fan of the sport myself, so I'm, I'm yeah. sitting there and watching it all happen, yeah. so it's... That was good, I think that was a good one. ...giving me energy, and now I see the buzz, you know, Khabib saying that, mm, you put an impressive performance. Main event, or current main event might get a title shot, you know. Hey, Ray, <laughs> how are you? Good, bro. Trying to get good. a title shot. Yeah, well, well. Great, how are you? Initially, what attracted me to the fight was being the fill-in for the Conor McGregor-Dustin Poirier fight. Then once I learned the skill set of Michael Chandler, what he's accomplished, what he's capable of, what he's done, he wanted this fight. He's here because I'm the guy that took the fight. I stepped up to the plate and I accepted. I was one of the first guys to put my hand up and say, man, I'll welcome Michael Chandler to the UFC. I like that fight stylistically. Why do you think so few fellow lightweights wanted to welcome him to the UFC? It's a big risk, you know, taking on a fighter that's not ranked in the UFC. That's why everyone ahead of me turned the fight down, because they didn't want to risk their spot in the lightweight division. So we're going to pop you right here. They're going to announce the media and kind of cycle them through questions at a time. But I'm someone that, that welcomes a new challenge, because I'm, I'm battle-tested in the UFC. Battle-tested. I've earned my spot. I've proven that I deserve to be here. Well, let's see if he does. Thank you very much, Dan. That's all the time we have for you today. Hey, Jan. How are you, bud? Good to see you, brother. Michael Chandler. That's good, man. Size him up. Say hello. Tell him it's going to be good to compete against him. Let's go. Trying to get that first fight signed was, uh, was definitely a process. And uh, glad we got a contract signed with Dan Hooker. He said yes when a lot of guys said no. He's stepping up. He's taking a big risk. At the end of it all, you had a bunch of guys who didn't want to be the first one to dip their toe in the water, and Dan Hooker said yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. What's up, boys? How are we? You good? I'm good. To the fans who haven't seen my fights, I only know one speed. I'm always going to have my foot on the gas, and it's always going to be entertaining. Go, 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 Get go. Get your seat. Have your popcorn ready, because uh, we're, we're going to have a good time. Best of luck Sunday morning. Appreciate you. Take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Is this the same one from the last time? That's a new one. That's a brand new one? Yeah. Same one. Isn't that? that only been one week? Oh. Yeah. One week? Yeah. That's one week? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm guessing. They didn't save me I'm guessing for us. since like last time we were on Fire Island. We are now joined by UFC lightweight Michael Chandler. Michael, thank you very much for joining us today. To me, uh, I just operate with a lot of gratitude for all of this. Uh, the fact that people are interested in what I'm doing is a very humbling experience. Because there will come a day when the reporters stop calling. So I always think about that. This is the right moment, and this is definitely the right stage. Make sure I put my best foot forward at all times, and I feel like I was underutilized for a really long time. Now I'm getting the opportunity to show the world who Michael Chandler is, and Saturday night I get to show him who I am with my fists. Palm trees. Yeah, I understand the challenge in front of me. I understand that the guy's dangerous. And I know that he's a good athlete. His timing is good. And recognizing that and admitting it, that has drove me all training camp. To show up here in my best, most focused, and in position to perform. Calves are getting sore from that damn little like uh, a little hill. 
a little hill gets me. It's a championship it's walk. A championship walk right there. I mean, it's not super intense, but he likes it. It helps keep his weight down, makes him feel good, you know, keep, keeps him in shape. This is my guy, Rob, man. Been here since day, since day one, the beginning. Got me ultimate fighter tryout. He started managing me when I was like 19 years old, probably. Not oh, that. Damn, my iPhones take good pictures, man. Fighting has given me everything that I have in my life. It's allowed me to grow and become the guy I am and introduced me to a lot of things that I wouldn't have been um, exposed to. It's given me the life that I have. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Especially at that level. Through the weekend. How does this main event play out? Oh, I'm gonna put on a flawless performance here, Ooh. an absolute clinic. I'm excited all across the board. I'm confident all my skills are on fire. So they didn't have to show his face decision. in the my beginning. It's like you're a new. My knees, my wrestling, my grappling, my clinch. But there is respect there for sure. A lot of admiration for the man, but I'm gonna bust him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's no, there's no doubts about it. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's getting busted. He's getting busted up. <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked about the fight sort of every which way now. You've done the media, you're back on the circuit again. But are you still sticking with that 60 second prediction? Yeah, I am. I don't, you know, I don't foresee him being able to withstand the power. However, I do want rounds in here. So if we can get past that mark, I will be celebrating for sure. So I'm eager to go. And then also, there's, you know, they've been saying about like conditioning issues and these type of things. That, that's like, that's a slight on my name. And, you know, part of me may, may want to just bust them up and take a back step uh, and get into the later rounds, you know, so that's that's what mm. I see possibly happening also. Making that walk with a limited scope of fans, does that require an adjustment on your end or is that even maybe something you're looking forward to? I was excited to get in with no crowd for sure. I was eager to hear my power and velocity with no crowd noise behind it. Because it's a unique sound, the four ounce glove clattering off the soft pipe of the face, especially my shots. First time McGregor's fighting with no crowd. 1,000 fans for my power, it will still translate. So I'm excited to get in. And to create highlights, that's what it's about, you know what I mean? At the end Since of the day, COVID. everything is belts, money, all of this comes and goes. The highlights live on, and that's it. I want to compete and perform and put on my highlights, and that's it. McGregor said he ain't retired anytime soon. No, sir. This is my 10th UFC main event. That's an exclusive club, by the way, the 10 UFC main events. So I'm excited about that. So I've got 10 posters anyway. So they, the UFC made me a poster. I remember oh, there was a poster competition. So the fans created a poster between me and Max Holloway, and one of them won it. Poor Al Holloway wasn't even on the poster. <laughs> he wasn't needed on the poster. <laughs> <laughs> No, in Janita is Al Dustin. God bless him. Champ, look, here's the posters. Look. Get him up on the chair so we can see. See it? Get my marker for the post. Right, write your signature, Champ. Right. Right, one, two. Okay, yeah. And again. Yeah. And again. Uh -huh. And again. <laughs> My man, tell you what, kid, that'll sell major in the view here. Won't it? Be quick. I'm very, very, very happy to be able to bring them with me and give give them these experiences. You know what I mean? We're all in it together. Part of family. Blessing. Last one, champ. You ready? Is the silver for the last one? Hell no. Gold. Platinum. Baby. Gold. Gold. Platinum. Perfect. My man. High five. High five, champ. Oh, yeah. For a minute, I thought I was going to leave him hanging. <laughs> I'm probably hungry, Sam. That's what it is. What about a nice bourbon and chippies? Oh, yeah. A bit of red sauce. Of course. Can't have chippies and no red sauce. Red sauce? <laughs> Ooh. Just like that, we out here wild. Bah. Bah, yeah, let's go. You know what I'm saying? UFC 257 vlog three part. Three. Done. Close. Wrap. Put the curtain down. If you like my reaction, please 
share, like, subscribe. Leave me a comment for your boy Swayze. And tune into the next video, because it's about to be a banger. Oh my God, when I fuck you, baby, I expose you. Uh.